This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman. This is Friday, the 17th of June. And of course, here at TFNN, this is the 11 o'clock market update. We start at 9 o'clock with Tommy Jr. Uh, market kickoff, fabulous show. It does it mixes the uh, fundamentals with the technicals, really uh, terrific insight he's got. Uh, then, of course, we've got program all the way to 4 o'clock, wrapping it up with uh, uh, Tom O'Brien. Uh, I'm going to hand you over to uh, Larry Pizzavento in a moment. And we're looking at the Dow. Uh, the Dow itself is trying its best to at least turn around after early strength and then later weakness, made a new low today of 29,653, way under the 30,000 level, which is really critical psychologically. It's down 194 at 29.73. The S&P, SPX, there we go. The S&P is down uh, 20 at 36.46, also made a lower low today. Looking at the QQQ, this is the NDX 100, did not make a lower low today. It's at 27, 271.21. Down just 21 ticks. There's a little bit of strength I'm seeing in some of the, the, the tech sector. The IWM, Russell 2000, uh, pulling back. It's up 28 from the bounce earlier on at 164.16. Gold, <clears throat> gold is down 8 at 1841. It's really struggling to get across that 200 period moving average of 1866. That's for weeks and weeks now. We're looking at the crude oil pulling back quite sharply. Whoa, very sharply. Down 6.38 at 108.65. This should be a good sign for the general market. It should be a good sign for jets, which is the... Uh, the uh, U.S. Global Jets ETF, uh, but no, not yet. We're looking at the TLT, and that's really important. Up 21 ticks at 111.93. Um, yes, it's trying to rally, but look at the dollar. The dollar has been showing some terrific strength. It's up at 104.93 and up a dollar 09. I still think that the dollar should try the 105s, maybe try for 106, and then maybe it's going to have a, a, a deeper rest. So let me just do this before you go to uh, Larry. Uh, we're looking at the VIX index. If the VIX, which is trading now at 32.70, is able to slide to the 31.90, then 31.70 level as the general market starts to rally. Maybe the Dow gets to a minus 80, minus 90 over the next hour and a half, two hours. Then maybe you get your last hour spike to the upside because that's what happens in options and futures expiration quarterlies. We're looking at this as, as a potential for a, a kicker to the upside. And I just showed this uh, before in the one minute chart of the e mini, it says, that if it's able to cross 3670, it's at 365, it was at 52. Uh, in the next uh, 15, 20 minutes, then the 200 period moving out to 3680 becomes a target. Have a wonderful long weekend. See what you think. Take care, folks.